Hello and good afternoon to my fellow classmates and my dear lecturer Ms. Anis. I'm Aziz Hamid Nazisan from MLG 1201B and today I'll be doing a video presentation on my written report of the short story Prairie Dogs by Colin Frizzle. Let's get started. Now to start things off, as you can see these are the table of contents which includes everything that I'll be talking about in this video presentation. It includes the author's background, the story summary, the character analysis, settings and atmosphere, narrative techniques, themes and interpretation, literary elements, and also personal response and conclusion. First things first, we need to know about our author's background. Our beloved author, Colin Frizzle, was born in the year 1970 in Prince Edward County, Ontario, Canada. As of now, he has published two books and one screenplay. The two books being Just Jay and Prairie Dogs, and the screenplay being Lavender. Next, to better understand about the short story that I'll be talking about, here's the story's summary. Johnny, an adult man who works alongside his best friend Bill, a gentle giant who's constantly judged because of his appearance, has killed their employer, Marion Jensen. This tragedy happened because of his unsuccessful love confession towards her. Bill's jacket was found at the crime scene and led to the townsfolk accusation of Bill as the perpetrator. Johnny, the real perpetrator, stayed silent and instead helped Bill escape by riding on a train heading for Toronto, where their new life awaits them. Now, let's move on to the character analysis. The character that I've chosen to analyse is the token female character, Marion Jensen. Marion is a static character, and she's a middle-aged woman who moved to the rural area after her late husband had passed away. She loves to wear elegant clothing and has a large collection of antiques. Her late husband was 25 years older than her, and he was a Canadian diplomat who worked in embassies all around the globe. She followed her husband on business trips and collected souvenirs from all the places she had been to. After his death, Marion inherited his fortune and bought an old Victorian farmhouse. She is most proud of her oriental rug, because it is the most sentimental item that she owns because of its exotic and intricate design. She hired Johnny and Bill to work on her house, and loves sitting down to drink tea with them after they had finished working. Now that we're done with the character analysis, let's move on to the settings and atmosphere. This short story is set in a rural town that is in North America, or to be more precise, Canada. Because of the mansions of wheat covered prairie and large Victorian farmhouse just outside of town. The timeline of the story is not mentioned but we can assume it to be relatively recent because of the mentions of transportations and locations such as trains and Toronto. During the end of the flashbacks and the present time, the atmosphere was tense and full of suspense, because Johnny is burdened with the crime of murder while boarding the train to escape the authorities. He was also worried about Bill knowing that he was the one who killed Marion Jensen. In contrast, during the early part of the flashbacks, the atmosphere was peaceful and happy. It shows genuine harmony between all the characters before the conflict. Okay, now let's take a look at the narrative techniques that the authors used throughout the whole story. Colin Frizzle used the first-person point of view to narrate this story. The whole story was narrated from Johnny's viewpoint and majority of the plot that happened in the story was entirely from his memory and experiences. This point of view also makes us as readers take a step back to think whether Johnny's reasoning was acceptable or not, thus making us more engaged in the story. Now let's move on to the other technique which is foreshadowing. Foreshadowing gives hints on what is going to happen in the story. For example, Marion's oriental work was mentioned during the build-up and was mentioned again during the climax when it got stained by Marion's blood. Now let's touch on the themes and interpretation of the short story. The first theme is friendship. Johnny and Bill's friendship runs deep ever since they were brought into this world. Bill loves and trusts Johnny deeply since he is the only person who would generally be friends with him and would not judge him based on his appearance. The next theme is social injustice. Bill was wrongly framed as the perpetrator only because his jacket was at the crime scene and his tall and scary demeanour did not help him at all, since the townsfolk was already judgmental of him because of his appearance. On to the literary elements. There are two elements throughout the whole story. The first element being symbolism. Symbolism is used throughout the story to relate to the character's behaviour and characteristic. For example, Marion's Orenzo Ruck. Johnny thought to himself that the rug was quite deceiving since only the upper part is covered with intricate design while the underside is bland and rigid. This symbolizes Johnny's realization of Marion's true colors, a patronizing woman who puts on a kind facade that only sees them as servants and nothing more. The next element is irony. 
One of the situations that shows irony is Johnny's love confession towards Marion. Johnny had high hopes of his feelings being reciprocated, but all he got to hear was Marion's laughter. And finally, we reach our final point in this video presentation, which is personal response and conclusion. For my personal response, in my personal opinion, this story generally piqued my interest due to the showcase of various human emotions and characteristics. The characters felt realistic and the storyline consistently kept me searching for answers. For example, why were Johnny and Bill heading to Toronto in the first place? All of these questions are what makes the story worth reading, since you always have the feeling of wanting to know more. As for the conclusion, in a nutshell, this story shows the complexity of humans. It exhibits what someone is capable of doing when their feeling takes full control of oneself. Thus, we must make sure to not act recklessly at any given moment because the consequences could be dire. Before I end my video presentation, I would like to thank all of my classmates and especially my lecturer, Ms. Anis. I hope that my video presentation is very informative and could help you better understand this short story. My name is Azit Hamid Azizhan from MLG1201B. Thank you for watching.